If someone really important to you asked you a question, how would you respond? Allah has a question for you. Which of your Lord's favors will you deny? How should we answer this question? أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ الرَّحْمَنُ عَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ خَلَقَ الْإِنْسَانَ عَلَّمَهُ الْبَيَانَ الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ بِحُسْبَانِ والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان صدق الله العظيم Today's verses are from a very special surah. The entire Qur'an is very special. It's the word of Allah, a book with no doubt, no lies, and no contradictions. I say the surah is very special because Allah gave it one of His most special names, the most compassionate. He is the Lord of mercy. This surah is one we should all memorize and understand. Within it, Allah does two things. He lists His blessings, reminders, and facts. And second, He asks a question. Then which of the favors of your Lord will you both deny? So, what's the first verse? Ar-Rahman, the most compassionate. What does that mean to us, the most compassionate? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us His mercy every single second of our existence. He protected us from holding someone equal to Him. He gave us faith. He allows us to live life with His remembrance. Then, he enumerates His blessings upon us. He gave us the Qur'an, taught us speech, created us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, عَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ عَلَّمَهُ الْبَيَانَ He created universal balance with the sun and the moon and the stars functioning in an orderly manner. He says the sun and the moon travel with precision. Just as He has created the balance of justice, He commands us to be just. He tells us, do not defraud the scales. Weigh with justice. Do not give short measure. So, how can we apply this in our life? Give people their due rights. Be fair in every way. After the introductory verses, Allah asks a question that repeats itself throughout the surah. Then which of your Lord's favors will you both deny? Both being humans and jinn. Allah challenges humanity as well as the jinn to deny any of these blessings that He has given us. The fact is, even if we refuse to believe that these blessings are from Allah, we cannot change this reality. He provides everything, everyone, what they have, the believers and the non-believers. 
the questioning is concise and clear. It places full responsibility on the reader to decide what kind of relationship they want to have with their Creator. How are we answering God's question? What is the response that we are giving Him? Remember, actions speak louder than words. We cannot deny any of God's blessings. They are reality and fact, and this fact leads us to gratitude. May Allah allow us to express gratitude for all His blessings. May we become just humans, balanced humans. May we reflect God's blessing and gravitate towards Him in submission and love. May peace, God's mercy, and blessings be upon you.